Number five is my High Tail Designs Fanny Pack. I love the size of this. Um, Z Packs makes a larger pack that can be used as a chest pack or a fanny pack. But I have to say this is just perfect. I keep all of my food in here for the day, whether it be breakfast or lunch. And um, I have my uh, electrolyte tabs and, and my hard candy. And uh, this has been just perfect. It's waterproof. And this way my pack is also never getting the smell of food on it. So when I am at camp at night, I am confident that like uh, my waist pa uh, pockets don't have any crumbs or any even smells of food in them because I'm just not keeping food in my pack at all. So this has been amazing. Uh, I pack this up the night before I head out on trail. So when I'm having dinner at camp, I will go ahead and load this up with my breakfast and lunch items and my snacks for the day. And in the morning when I take my bear bag down out of the tree, I'll just take this out, put it on, and I'm ready to roll. So that is item number five. Item number four, my Chaka's wind block hat. So it's a wind block fleece hat. You guys have seen it on my videos. It's really warm, it's not itchy, it does block the wind, and it has been just indispensable on the trail. Um, I have loved this hat. Chaka's is a New Hampshire hat company, and I cannot say enough about the quality of this. Thank you, Chaka. Item number three, my water system. You guys, the Sea Knock bag is amazing. It's elasticized, it doesn't rupture, it doesn't leak. You can squeeze it to get the water out. This has been amazing. I know they're more expensive than some of the other um, water containers, but that whole adage of you pay for what you get. I see people on the trail with the Sawyer squeeze bags that come with the Sawyer squeeze and they're just not happy with them. This is a fine piece of gear and it's got a very large opening reservoir so you can either scoop water into it or you can hold it underneath um, an area where water is coming out and uh, you can even scoop and pour it into it if you wanted to. So I have been incredibly happy with this bag. The Sawyer Squeeze fits right on the end of it and uh, it has just been seamless. Um, to add to that, the Sawyer Squeeze has been my favorite of the water filters so far, of the Sawyer filters. I've tried the Micro, the Squeeze, and the Mini. Mini, I'm over the Mini. The Micro started out okay, um, but then I realized when I was out with my friends, or not out with my friends, when we were hiking and we were doing our water filtration, that it really was a lot slower than the Squeeze. So if you wanna save that ounce, go ahead and do the Micro, but for the ounce, um, I love the speed um, at which this is uh, able to filter water. So my water filtration system, number three. Item two, my rain gear. You guys, there is nothing like an umbrella on the trail. I have to say that. You know, not only does it just attach to my um, pack, it covers my pack, it covers me, it gives me sanity on rainy days. And this carbon fiber um, Six Moon Designs umbrella, 6.8 ounces is what they advertise. I haven't actually weighed it myself. It is really light and it just, it's big, it fits over my stuff. Um, there are times you have to kind of wiggle your way through trees or under branches, but tall people or wide people have to do that anyways. So it's really not that big of a deal. You know, and I'm just gonna couple that with my whole rain system because I'm really happy with my whole rain system. I have the Z-Pax rain kilt and I'm loving that not only for rain, but I am notorious for spreading it out on the trail and sitting on it and using it as a picnic cloth. Um, I can also leave it under my hammock at night to put gear on if I wanted to. I, I haven't done that, um, but it, it is a good quality. It has a, a zipper up the side and a cinch string along the waist, so you don't have to worry about your waist size. And uh, I really like this. In addition with the Z-Pax rain jacket, I have been so happy with this. Not only in the winter months when it was very cold and this was a good wind block and insulation layer to keep heat in, but in the summer, it's got the pit zips. 
Uh, the only suggestion I would make for Z-Packs is that they come out with a woman's model that um, is for curvier figures. Uh, I am wearing a men's medium, and at the beginning of the trip, it was snug around my hips. It is still form-fitting, I would say, and I would love more room around the hips, but I don't need it elsewhere. I don't need it in the chest or, or elsewhere. It just needs to be a little bit more snug at the hips and sense, or I mean, a little bit looser at the hips and sense. My very favorite piece of gear I have on the trail is something I can't show you because I'm recording with it. My iPhone XS has been amazing. I use it for communication. I use it for navigation. I use it with my Garmin for um, communication with my Spot GPS. Uh, the interface with that is fabulous. Um, I have my AWOL guide as a PDF on there. I have my Gut Hooks app. Um, I have Dropbox on there that I use to send um, videos to other people because they're just too big to send in an email or a text. Um, I'm sending texts to friends on the trail as well as people at home. I'm using the Venmo app. Uh, you name it, the iPhone or probably any cell phone, but I just happen to have an iPhone. The picture quality is great. I don't need to use a gimbal. Um, it's, I mean, it's not professional. I'm not professional. I'm doing this just as a lay person trying to share my experience with you all. Um, the iPhone XS has been amazing. I cannot say enough about it. And um, you all know what one looks like, so I don't really need to show you anyways, but it is probably the most versatile tool that I have. And I have been very happy with my Verizon service as well. Verizon, um, ha we have friends that are traveling with us that have ATT Sprint and Verizon and by far Verizon has had the best coverage. Now that doesn't mean that I get coverage everywhere because there just isn't cell phone coverage down in gaps and when you're behind mountains and, and uh, there's no line of sight, but um, it has been phenomenal. The combination of the Verizon service with the, the iPhone XS has been spectacular.